I have received permission from Diane Alber to read and post her stories and works. If you would like further information about this author, please visit her website at www.dianealber.com or to purchase her books, visit Amazon and search her name, Diane Alber. Thanks. Boys and girls, today I'm going to read you a story called The Little Spot Stays at Home, a story about viruses and safe distancing. Hi, I'm a little safety spot. I'm here to help you stay safe when a virus starts spreading too fast and gets a lot of people very sick. What's a virus? Viruses are tiny particles that can make you ill. They are so small that you can only see them with a microscope. These particles are also known as germs. These germs love to stick to your hands, doorknobs, cardboard boxes, and toys. That's why we disinfect surfaces like countertops and objects. A virus can move from an object like a doorknob to your hand. Once it's on your hand, it can enter your body when you touch your eyes, nose, or mouth and make you sick. That's why it's so important to wash your hands to clean off germs before you eat, after you go to the bathroom, and after you're done playing. Make sure when you use soap, you wash your hands really well for at least 20 seconds. Try singing the happy birthday song twice. When a virus enters your body, you can start to have symptoms. Symptoms don't make you feel very good. They can be a fever, a cough, a sore throat, People can spread a virus more when they're having symptoms because germs come out of their nose and mouth when they cough or sneeze. If you become sick, you should stay at home or go to a doctor, which can help prevent others from getting ill. If you're having symptoms, wearing a mask is a great way to prevent the virus from spreading. This also shows you are being kind by not wanting to spread germs to others. If you are healthy, Wearing a mask can protect you if you are around someone who is coughing and sneezing. When someone is sick and sneezes, germs can spread from their nose and mouth up to six feet. So for everyone, a safe distance is six feet, about the length of your bed. If you don't have a tissue, you should always cough or sneeze into your upper sleeve or your inner elbow. Some viruses can be very contagious and cause an outbreak. When this happens, older adults like grandmas and grandpas, as well as people with very low or compromised immune systems can get sick very easily and it can be very harmful. We need to be responsible and help protect them. We can do this by hand washing and limiting contact with others by keeping a safe distance. During an outbreak, if safe distancing doesn't slow down the virus fast enough, everyone will need to stay home. This means no parties or seeing friends or extended family. School may also be closed for a while too. This is called a stay at home order. When everyone stays home, doctors have time to find out more about the virus and prepare for patients. It also helps them find a treatment that can help before the virus hurts a lot of people. When we stay at home, can we leave our house at all? Great question. You can go for a walk with your immediate family as long as you are at safe distance from others. People can also leave their homes if it's absolutely necessary, like to get food or go to the doctor, or if their job is considered essential. What are essential workers? Essential workers need to be at work to help keep us safe. They help treat sick people and deliver and stock important items. These people, these people are doctors, nurses, police officers, grocery store workers, and delivery workers, to name a few. We should be very thankful for these people who have the courage to go to work every day. Staying at home will require a lot of patience and support for each other. It can also be a great time to spread kindness by thanking all the people who help keep us safe. There may be times you will feel sad and that you can't see your friends and family, but there are other ways to connect with them. You can video chat or call them on the telephone. You can write a letter and send it through the mail. You can even decorate the envelope or include some artwork too. 
This time can be difficult for a lot of us and getting a letter in the mail can brighten someone's day. Since school buildings may close, you will have to learn as much as you can at home, and that could be fun too. You can learn math by measuring ingredients while baking, or by sorting clothes, counting shirts, and matching socks too. You can learn new skills or spend extra time with your immediate family. It can inspire you to be creative or encourage you to get organized and tackle new projects. Hopefully, I was able to help you understand more about viruses and why people need to stay a safe distance or sometimes stay at home. It's important to keep a positive outlook and remember that viruses don't last forever. We will work together and things will get better. What do you love most about spending time at home? So boys and girls, if you like, go to my Google Classrooms page under activities and look for the one for a little spot stays home. And you can complete that if you'd like. It was nice to see you guys. Bye.